Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do like a really fun video. I wanted to do a cushion collection video showing you guys um, what kind of cushions I have and talk about them one by one. I also wanted to like categorize them and just help you out even further. Also on top of that, talk about like which cushions I don't really use anymore and, and I need to give away or like which cushions I've been loving. So yeah, I thought this would be helpful and you can just learn more about it. I do have my cushions here. I do have some more on the floor. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with the glowy cushions. I'll start off with this one. This is the Neo Cushion Glow by Laneige. So I really like this one. I think it has a very nice glowy feel. It's kind of like not too much and not too crazy. It has a good medium coverage with a bit of glow. So I think this is a very standard, um, you can't really go wrong type of cushion. And also I just love the packaging. I haven't used this one in a while, but I think now that it is gonna get warmer in Korea, I probably might reach for this more. So next we have the very famous Clio Kill Cover Glow Cushion. This is like their original original and Okay, to be honest, this is really old. And I think it's probably expired by now, so I probably have to throw this away. But wow, this one I think was like the first glow cushion I actually got into. And I really like the coverage of it. And I think a lot of people definitely love this cushion because of that. So yeah, but this one definitely has to go away. And then this is the Clio Kill Cover Glow Fitting Cushion. So this is their most like recent one, I think in terms of like a glowy finish. This one is really nice. I do like it. It does feel really refreshing when you put it on. I just haven't used it as much, but I think now that once again, like it's spring soon, I probably will reach for this more often. This one has a really nice like lightweight finish too. I will say this one, like the original, glow it does feel a little bit thicker but this one definitely feels thinner so I think if you really want that lightweight glowy finish this one is a really nice one too and then we have the espoir cushions this one is the original and then I have the newer version here so the newer version came out pretty recently I think like a few months ago okay so to be honest I can't really remember what the difference was I do think maybe this one had more coverage like the new one or maybe like better longevity, but I can't remember. The only thing I remember is I wasn't as impressed with the new version. But yeah, this one is a really good one. I think it's just like a nice, it just sticks onto your skin really well, like very honey-like finish. And it has a little bit of the subtle glow with the very kind of like almost natural to medium looking coverage in my opinion. And then we have the Moonshot Glassy Fit Cushion. Love the packaging. I'm always like like staring at the packaging because it's so pretty. This one has pretty good coverage. So I would say it's like a medium to buildable coverage. It has a really nice like luminous finish so yeah a really nice radiant finish is how i would describe this cushion and then we have the peach sea honey glow cover cushion this one's a really old one i haven't used this in a while but this one also has that honey like glow finish it's not like too much or like too glowy and i remember it has a very solid medium coverage this one's an overall really like all rounder cushion. I really like this one. And also the cushion puff is so cute. And then lastly, I have the Misha Radiance Perfect Fit Cushion. I couldn't remember anything about this cushion, but I did try it briefly. I said it's a very good solid coverage and it has a slight glow. And also what I like about this cushion is everything is kind of like like very big and also the mirror is really big as well but I feel like this one from memory it did have a bit of smudging on the mask. Maybe that's why I didn't reach for it as much but yeah, so that is it for the glowy cushions. And now let's move on to the more semi-matte cushions. So we have quite a bit of the semi-matte cushions. It's so hard to, I think, categorize like semi-matte feeling sometimes because I feel like sometimes it can feel matte as well and sometimes it can feel velvety, like a velvety finish. But anyways, so the first one is the ROM and Zero Cushion. This one is a very popular cushion. A lot of people know about it, especially because of the coverage. This coverage is really, really good and very like medium to strong. I think if you're looking for a high coverage cushion, a lot of people definitely go for this. And I think this one has more of a semi-matte-ish velvety finish in my opinion. So yeah, and I love the packaging of this. I think this one was like a special limited edition but it's so cute. And then we have the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion EX. So this one was an upgraded version from the Moonshot Original Setting Fit. The original one was such a success. Uh, this one's really good too. It has a very lightweight finish and you can really feel a little bit of a cooling effect when you first apply it and then it instantly dries down. 
so I really like this one I think if you do live in a very hot and humid country you will really like this one and also it has a very decent like medium solid coverage but yeah this one's a very popular one the next moonshot cushion while I'm at it is the moonshot micro calming fit cushion I really like this one this one was definitely like one I just use all the time like I just grab this one if I don't know what cushion I, I want to use for that day. I feel like this one's a very easy going cushion. It's very just calming and comfortable on your skin and I know it's not going to be fussy so I love this one. It has a medium coverage and also it is just very lightweight and comfortable to wear so this is why I reach for this one a lot. And then the next moonshot cushion is the correct fit. This one is such an oldie but it's so good. I love this one. It's a very like easy go-to cushion. This one's really old. I probably do need to throw it away now but I think this one was definitely one of my original favorites. It doesn't have like a super strong coverage but it has very natural to medium coverage. It feels really lightweight on the skin so you just know you can't really go wrong with this and it just I don't know has that nice glow once again. And then next I have the Espoir Pro Taylor B Silk Cushion. So this one was one of my favorites I think back like maybe a year ago or something. I would say strong medium coverage cushion. It has a very silky and velvety finish and it makes your skin look really pretty. But also I do remember this is the type of cushion that would probably kind of um, smudge a little bit onto your masks throughout the day. So that is something to be aware of. But I did really like the finish and just like how it looked on my skin. So this one's from Espoir. Okay, so next one is the Rom and Clear and Cover Cushion. So I haven't used this one in a while, but I do remember I really did enjoy it when I did use it back in the day. But um, this one is definitely like a semi-matte plus glowy finish, so it does a little bit of both. It has pretty decent coverage as well, so I think I do remember really liking this. And the packaging is so pretty. Now let's move on to the Clio cushions. I have a few. We have the Clio Kill Cover Ample Cushion. This one is an oldie but goodie. This one is nice because it has a little bit of a glowy finish, especially on like, you know here and like just the high points like you'll see a bit of that glow but also it has like a semi matte finish underneath also just coverage wise Clio cushions are just known to be very like medium to high coverage cushions so I think I really enjoyed this one so this one's the most iconic one for me this one's the Clio Kill Cover Foundwear Cushion Original this one was the one that made me fall in love I think with K-Beauty cushions so this one also has like that velvety kind of like semi matte but also like kind of glowy finish Finish. It has a little bit of that medium coverage cushion and I personally can't really tell too much of the difference I do think maybe the ample one was a bit more hydrating But yeah, whenever I see this found wear cushion, it brings me back so many memories So but yeah, these two are very old. I've had them for like I think three years now or like even longer. And then last Clio cushion is the Clio Kill Cover Foundwear Cushion, the all new. So this is the upgraded version of the Foundwear Cushion. This one feels definitely much thinner than the original Foundwear, so over this one. But I think the coverage is better for the original. But I really like this one too. But I do feel like this one kind of runs out really quickly. I don't know why. And then we have the JSM one. One of my favorites currently. It's also the one I apply today as well and I really like this one because it's just such an easygoing cushion and I know it's going to give me a really nice natural medium coverage. It's also going to give me a very clean and just like very neat looking coverage and it just doesn't smudge too much on my mask. It doesn't feel fussy. I don't need to touch up too much and if I do, it's not messy looking. Definitely worth trying. I love it. And then lastly, we have the Bia Last Cushion. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used this one in I don't know how long. I couldn't really remember this one, so I did write it down. But I said it has a good medium and overall good coverage. So let's move on to the matte cushions. So I'll start off with this one. This is the Laneige Neo Matte Cushion. This one's just a very like popular one and I think a lot of people like it. It doesn't feel too drying on the skin and it has a very decent coverage and I think overall just a very standard nice cushion. So I love this one. Love the packaging as well. And then we have the Rom and Better Than Matte Cushion. Okay so this one feels really matte and I think for me my skin it didn't really suit it too well. Like, sometimes it looks okay, but sometimes when I'm having a bad skin day and then I use this, 
I do feel like it did really pile up on my dry patches so I don't really reach for this one as much but it really does have that matte finish like it instantly dries onto your skin and then we have the Misha the cushion skin matte so this is this one I like this one but I just didn't reach for it as much for some reason I don't know why actually this one I think has a pretty good medium coverage and it's just like a no fuss cushion but I just don't remember much about it but yeah, definitely one I do need to start using again. And then we have the Espoir Pro Taylor B Powder Cushion. This one, I don't know. Personally for me, I don't think it really worked well on my skin. It's honestly such a pretty coverage when you do apply it and stuff. But it's just... Also, there's like a thickness to it, which I think I wasn't used to because all the cushions that are coming out these days are so thin and lightweight that my skin is so used to that. But this one does feel a little bit thicker and i don't know it does have that powdery matte finish and i don't think it really worked too well on my skin but i do see reviews on this and i think a lot of people do like this because it does work for them i do love the packaging though like very pretty just like very nice but yeah i wish this one worked better on me but you know and then we have the cleo kill cover fixer cushion it has a nice matte like almost powdery like finish too this one's a really popular one too and i know a lot of people really like the fixer cushion and especially if you do really have oily skin i think you will really really like this one and then we have the ns free no sebum powder cushion i love this cushion it's definitely one of my favorites i got this in the summer last year and i think i used this really well for the summer very like hot seasons and it just i don't know has a really nice like finish of like sticking on and it doesn't really move around there's no like drying feeling and it just feels super comfortable so i definitely reach for this quite often and then lastly we have the hera black cushion this is like the most recent cushion purchase for me i always felt like it was just so pricey for a cushion but i think if you get it on a discount it is definitely worth it i really like this cushion and i really love how thin it feels on the skin and it instantly really like sticks on and like settles in and it makes a really nice coverage and i think this one definitely has like high coverage uh medium to high coverage but also it has like a nice semi matte to matte finish i definitely want to try more of hera cushions in general so that was it for my cushion collection and just like going through each one i hope you got something out of this and maybe like learned something new about a cushion that you really wanted to try obviously i love cushions and trying new cushions out but mainly i do this to help people and just like make their decision easier when they're purchasing or they're like contemplating on what cushion to get so i hope you enjoyed also, I have a food TikTok that I recently opened. So if you do like food and you are a foodie like me, definitely come check it out. I'll leave it in the description below. And yeah, also connect with me on Instagram if you would like. And see you in the next one. Bye! She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet. Baby girl, be mine. Baby girl, be mine. Yeah, yeah.